shape your face, highlight, contour, and blush. All right, Ella. So now I'm going to teach you how to highlight, contour, and apply blush. These are techniques that makeup artists use to add dimension to the face. Because now, especially after we've applied foundation, yeah. the face is kind of flat because it, it's in one tone. So we're going to add shadows and highlights just to give your face some angles and some dimension. And also add a little bit of color to your face by applying blush. So the first step is to apply the contour. These are the Body Shop's Shade Adjusting Drops. These are actually um, drops that you can add to your foundation to bring it one step darker. But we can also use it as a contour product. We're gonna use it to add contours to your face. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to apply just a small drop because a small drop goes a long way with this product. So it's a great contour product, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit. Actually, that's enough to contour your entire face. Use your ring finger, so just dab it onto the product, just so it's not too thick, so it doesn't go on too thick. I'm asking her to spread some of the product onto the back of her hand. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now is to locate where the hollows of your cheeks are. So if this is the cheekbone, the hollows are the sunken part of your cheeks. If this is the cheekbones, yes, there, and just apply it there, correct, perfect. Concentrate more here and then blend towards the mouth, there, perfect. And then just get a little bit more. And then just start from below the ear, along the jawline, towards the chin. Cool. Yeah, just keep on blending. Just keep on tapping and blending. And then what I'm gonna ask you to do is to get the sponge that you used earlier for foundation. This one. Yes, and just go over the areas where you apply the contour with so the sponge so that, it, so that you blend it even more. So that it looks more natural. She's added some shadows onto her face so her face looks more angular. Her cheekbones look more defined. Her jawline looks more defined. After that, we're gonna add a little bit of highlights. We're gonna bring her features forward. If contouring is meant to add shadows, highlighting is meant to bring the features forward. So it highlights the cheekbones. It adds highlights to the bridge of the nose. This is the shade adjusting drops, but it's the lightening adjusting drops. Essentially what it does is it lightens your foundation, but you can also use it as a highlighter. Again, I'm just gonna add a small drop onto the back of her palm there. Just get a little bit again with your ring finger there and just diffuse it. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to apply it just here on the bridge of the nose and just blend. Cool, perfect. And then here on the center of the nose. Yes? Highlight this, the center of the chin. Just keep on blending, keep on blending. Here on the, on the apples of the cheek. So what I want you to do is just a smile and to apply it there, perfect. Just keep on blending it there. Do the same on the other cheek. So what this does is it adds a little bit of a glow to the skin. It brings your features forward. Use the sponge and just go over those same areas with the sponge just so it's nice and blended. So again, the key to using contour and highlighting products is to apply it sparingly and make sure to blend these products so that it looks like actual shadows and highlights. So the next thing we're gonna do is to apply the blush. So we're gonna use the Body Shop's iconic lip and cheek stains. So it comes in a variety of colors. You can use the lighter shades, like the pinkish shades and the peachy shades if you wanna look sweet and dainty. Or some of the plum or berry shades if you wanna look rockin'. If you're going to a, for a very strong look, you can use those shades also. So this is the Lip and Cheek Stain in Dusty Rose. It's a very light and natural shade. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is you can just apply it directly to the cheeks, just a little bit, on the apples of the cheeks, just to blend it with your, with your fingers again. What we did is I just used a little bit just so we can get a natural effect. So I'm just gonna ask you to apply a little bit more again because it's it's a little bit too light. So just, okay, and then just blend it again. Just keep on blending it. So as you can see, it still looks very natural. So this is the lip and cheek stain in Deep Berry. So this is a deeper shade of blush. You're gonna see more color with this one. So I'm just gonna ask her to apply it. But this time, just so it looks more intense, I'm gonna ask her to apply it closer to the temple, so maybe here, above where you contoured. Here. So this is where you contoured, right? So maybe here. here. Yeah, there. So just apply it there. Keep on blending, keep on blending. Smile. All right, and then what you wanna do also is just so that it, it's completely blended, get the damp sponge again, and just go over it with the sponge, just so it's completely blended. There, just dab it. These are the easy steps to apply blush, contour, and highlight. It's perfect with these products because they're liquid and they're in stain forms. It's easily blendable by your fingers because your fingers are very warm. So it's perfect, if, especially if you're not a fan of using makeup tools.